uh, bagi saya uh, statement uh, ataupun uh, kenyataan yang dikeluarkan dalam Twitter yang berhormat Datuk Ngi Guham amat jelas sekali walaupun beliau mengelak dan mengatakan bahawa ia di, ditulis dalam bentuk soalan tetapi saya rasa kita bukanlah uh, terlalu bodoh Uh, uh, untuk gagal memahami apa maksud beliau ya bahawa uh, maksud tersirat beliau adalah umat Islam uh, membazirkan masa dengan kita menyatakan bantahan buat perhimpunan dan sebagainya saya rasa tak perlu saya jawab sebab saya rasa di kalangan rakan kongsi di AP sendiri iaitu PAS uh, sendiri telah menjawab dan mengecam kenyataan beliau ya dan uh, saya rasa juga uh, ini bukan hanya kenyataan peribadi sebab ada di kalangan DAP yang kata ini pendirian dan kenyataan peribadi Datuk Ngai Kuham Tetapi keengganan Setiusa Agong DAP uh, Yang Mak Muhammad Lim Guat Eng Untuk menyatakan ataupun untuk memberi kenyataan Ataupun untuk menegur uh, Ngai Kuham Adalah gambaran yang jelas bagi saya lah Gambaran yang jelas Bahawa ini merupakan sentimen dan juga uh, Pendirian parti DAP itu sendiri ya, Kalau saya saya nampak kalau sekiranya Setiusa Agong DAP sebagai bos parti DAP Kalau dia bertanggungjawab Dia akan keluar kenyataan uh, Tanpa bersyarat ya, Bahawa uh, apa yang disebut oleh Nyeku Ham itu tidak boleh diterima Tetapi uh, semalam saya nampak kenyataan Lim Guan Neng bersyarat Saya hanya akan keluarkan kenyataan tentang Nyeku Ham Sekiranya media arus perdana keluarkan kenyataan asal saya mengenai uh, Innocence of Muslims Uh, bagi saya, what kind of statement is that? I mean, if you really care about Mal uh, Muslim sensitivity, you just come up with a statement saying that uh, what Ngai Kuham said was not correct, tidak betul. <coughs> Dan uh, disassociate your party from Ngai Kuham punya statement. Tetapi apa yang dia kata, dia masih lagi nak main politik. Print my statement first before I say anything about Ngai Kuham. That's absolutely unacceptable. Sebagai seorang uh, Muslim, saya anggap bahawa itu kenyataan yang tak boleh diterima langsung. Yeah? Kenapa nak bersyarat? Kenapa nak main politik dengan media arus perdana? Uh, sedangkan ini adalah isu yang menyentuh sensitiviti uh, masyarakat uh, Islam Muslim di Malaysia uh, Dan perlu uh, kenyataan yang jelas dikeluarkan oleh parti DAP Tetapi itu pun tak dapat dibuat oleh uh, Lim Guan Eng Oh iya, soalan lain apa pula dia? Tak, kita fokus kepada isu ni lah ya Kita fokus kepada isu ni Isu lain uh, kemudian eh? Next, next function. Boleh mohon saya tahu komen ya. uh, uh, AG dah berkata bahawa uh, uh, Kita tak perlu takut Keterangan, lah. tak apalah Kita just fokus on this one eh? Saya tak nak sidetrack daripada Isu isu impunan eh? Kalau isu lain saya jawab Mungkin kemudian lah, petang ni ataupun esok eh? So kalau tidak ada apa-apa lagi okay. Saya um, saya okay. Last ya eh? okay. yeah. The media in the West has portrayed Muslims The Muslim reaction to this video To this video as violent, extreme You and irrational, do you think that this your demonstration tomorrow could feed into that? That is why we, we want that, <coughs> that is why we want to ensure that uh, our assemblies tomorrow are peaceful. One of the reasons why uh, we've decided both uh, uh, Nasaruddin, uh, uh, head of past youth, and myself have decided not to have a demonstration together uh, is to ensure that uh, we can control the crowd. Uh, we are concerned that if both uh, Pemuda PAS and also Pemuda AMNO and our supporters all convene and converge on uh, the American Embassy, the crowd will not be manageable. And when you have two sets of supporters, it's difficult, you know. I have to give one set of instruction, Nasruddin has to give one set of instruction. It's not necessary that the crowd will follow and then, you know, there will be some uh, tension in the crowd. That's the reason why, uh, although we support each other's rallies in solidarity, we've decided uh, to split the crowd, to split the crowd so that it's more manageable. You see, the West has to understand that uh, we, as far as Pemuda Amno and our friends are concerned, we condemn both the publication of the cartoon, the production of the film, as well as any violence uh, against anybody that ensued from the, from the film. So we condemn what happened in, in Benghazi and Libya. And we do not want to have a violent or uh, aggressive and extreme reaction to this. We want to have a peaceful assembly. But the West must understand that uh, we must also uh, manifest our anger uh, in some form. You know, we cannot just write a letter to the editor saying that this is uh, you know, something that is unacceptable. As far as Muslims are concerned, we feel very strongly about this. And one way of uh, demonstrating this 
is by uh, is by uh, coming together and uh, and uh, protesting uh, what we regard as the flagrant uh, abuse of the freedom of speech in certain countries uh, that has justified and allowed for uh, religions, especially the religion of Islam, uh, being insulted and Muslims being insulted. So I hope the West will understand that in Malaysia, we are we are organizing a peaceful assembly. We condemn any aggression and any uh, any violence towards anybody uh, with regards to this issue or any other issue, and we hope that our assembly tomorrow will be peaceful. So this is your response to any any Western party who spins it, saying that Muslims are taking to the streets again. Well, we take to the streets for many things. We take to the streets uh, against uh, WTO, we take to the streets for free and fair elections, we take to the streets for, uh, in the West, they take to the streets for uh, homosexual rights. Nobody says anything. But when Muslims take to the streets, suddenly we are, we are violent, we are terrorists, we are extremists. I mean, you know, uh, give us an opportunity also to, to assemble in peace. If other people can assemble in peace for their own causes, surely there are also Muslims who can assemble in peace. There may be Muslims who cannot control themselves, who resort to violence, we condemn that. But in Malaysia, we want to show that Muslims here, we can come together and go to the streets and assemble in peace. And I think that's the message that I want to send to the Western world. Not all Muslims who go to the streets are going to end up attacking the U.S. Embassy. We're going to prove that in Malaysia, whether it's AMNO, whether it's PAS, whether it's our friends from the NGOs, we can do this peacefully tomorrow. Yeah? So saya ucapkan terima kasih kepada rakan-rakan yang yang datang ya. Sekali lagi saya saya sebut uh, beliau Pak B perkasa Pertubuhan Silat Lincah Malaysia um, GPMS our friends from BN MCA MIC gerakan PPP Majlis Pendekar Malaysia Pertubuhan Silat Kebangsaan Pusaka Association of Indian Muslim and Tukida so Those NGOs who stand in solidarity with us Thank you very much eh? uh, Tan Sri, Tuan Syed, sahabat-sahabat My friends from uh, uh, Component Parties Thank you very much And we very much hope that uh, Himpunan pada esok sama ada yang kita buat di Majlis Kampung Baru Didatangi oleh seluruh rakyat Malaysia Tak kira agama, tak kira kaum Dan uh, kami bersolidariti bersama dengan uh, pemuda PAS yang buat himpunan yang uh, yang berasingan. Yeah? Okay, terima kasih.